Oh, Kevin's checking his watch. Hi, it's Wednesday. We just finished our 34 reset here in Van Horn, Texas. Picked up this load on Sunday in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and it's going to Mira Loma, California on the east side of LA. We should be there tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon. We picked up the load from Frito-Lay with instructions not to take it to high altitudes as the bags of chips would expand too much and they would explode. Monday, we came down through West Texas. It was 104 degrees, so I was wondering if the heat in the trailer was going to have an effect on expansion. Plus, Van Horn here is 4,000 feet above sea level. So we are at some altitude and extreme weather, so I hope we're not losing the whole load to the heat and the altitude, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. So here we go, let's try and make 600 miles today. Okay, welcome to the joy of trucking. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel and you like traveling with us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also at any point during the video, you can hit that thumbs up. We appreciate that, as does the YouTube algorithm. Okay, it's been uh, dusty and warm here, yes. but had a really nice reset. Down that way is Lindsay's Cafe, which we've scoped out for next time. And down the road, the historic El Capitan Hotel, right. Pueblo right. style, right. really beautiful. Also found out that the Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos, is here in Van Horn. So they have a launch next week. All the hotels are booked up and apparently that happens about once, once a month. And yeah, lots of people have moved here for working at that facility and people come to watch the launches. Pretty exciting. All right, back on to I-10. Turn right, then take ramp left. Take ramp left. Hold on to your coffee. Here we go. Yeah, good thing you did not come through there. everybody if you still have a watch otherwise maybe the grandfather clock out in the hallway because your phone will adjust itself
our gas has risen by an average of almost 18 cents. We uh, another record high today, four here. hours, 40 cents a gallon. It's Mexico over there. It's very close here. Look at the dust in the valley too. tank left but uh, Crete says fill up here they tell you the fuel stops so that's what we're doing and we're happy it's a loves because Kevin Turn likes left. the points
jam accident on I-10, coming out of the Love Shack. Instead of getting back on I-10, even the service road next to it is jammed up. So we'll go over I-10, go down to the down to the main road, and then go over to the, the bypass at 375. And you've been on that road before. Yeah, I've made deliveries down in here. So we know it's a good road. It's a truck route. Fine for trucks. Yep. So let's go check it out. I guess the 18 wheelers are okay too. You know, you just can't get into the national parks with this thing. <laughs> or go off roading very well. <laughs> Look, he's got an awning, bicycles. Nice.
Thanks for joining us today on this ride from Van Horn, Texas to the outskirts of El Paso. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Put your comments and questions below. Did you have to reset your watch? How did you like the ride? And be sure to join us in the next video. We're going to take the 375 bypass. It's a beautiful, beautiful ride. All right. Now, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet and the notification bell, please do so if you enjoy traveling the roads of America with us and learning about trucking. All right, have a great day with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.